I'm Matthias Maus, I'm from Cologne, Germany. I'm a refractive surgeon since 91, but I also run a fairly large ophthalmology practice with all kinds of uh, patients which we treat. And among them are also a lot of glaucoma patients. And uh, for those glaucoma patients, surely SLT is my primary treatment. Uh, I went to Shanghai in 2001 and uh, listened to a key lecture about SLT. And after that, I bought my first SLT laser. Well, being a refractive surgeon, uh, I always prefer SLT uh, just to get patients rid of medications. All those medications, uh, all those eye drops you put in the eye are not good for the surface. And at the end, the surface is important for the quality of the vision. If I look at the patients and, and which might be best suited for SLT, well, basically, we do it on everybody who suffers from glaucoma. There are some exclusions on which we cannot do this. But for sure, every primary open angle glaucoma would qualify for SLT. Decision making in treatment processes have changed over the years. If you raise the point of patient education, you have to talk to the patient and have to make a combined decision. You have to, the patient has to be in the decision making. So we talk about the medications and we talk about SLT and we use material for that. We use videos, we use things like eye imagination and of course studies which we present to the patient. The classical glaucoma treatment, applying eye drops to the end of your life, is a nuisance. So we put it on our website that there is a treatment which is not new but it's very successful and has only to be applied once and maybe repeated after two years and for patients uh, it's very interesting to get of these daily eye drops uh, due to this wide 400 micron spot it's easy to apply there are easy directions to follow to be successful in that and uh, for sure, refractive surgery with the laser is much more complicated, so that's an easy task. The SLT treatment for us is a primary treatment, but you have to know they are early responders and late responders. So usually we wait six to eight weeks until we do a retreatment if the first treatment doesn't work. 